All right, let's review the course, the virtual ticket, and we're going to go over all the different categories and walk you through this entire course. Let's jump into it. All right, so I'm so excited to be updating this course. We're still going to keep the old material from Vid Summit in 2017 at the end of this course, but let's go over what you're going to learn in this course now that we've updated everything. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys to my whiteboard over here and I'm going to write down all of the different events. So first of all, the very first thing is going to talk about the industry as a whole. So we're going to talk about the events industry and how to host virtual events. So the events industry and kind of look at it from an overview of, you know, what is it like to be an influencer who's paying, who has a paywall and access? What's it like to have a Patreon? What is it like to have a Facebook group? What is it like to have premium videos on Vimeo? And I really want to highly suggest that if you're going to sell private uh, virtual tickets to your private live stream, that you, you buy a few from other companies, buy a few virtual tickets, buy some premium experiences, subscribe to an influencer on Facebook or Instagram, pay for access to a premium video on Vimeo and see what it's like to have your, your, you know, your feet in the shoes of the customer so you can kind of feel, get a feel for how you're going to position your virtual tickets. Now, the next chapter is going to be on really just selling those virtual tickets. Right away, I want you to understand what it's like to sell virtual tickets. So how to set up a paywall, how to position your tickets, how to live stream those tickets, and how to really start thinking about planning to market your event with a virtual ticket. Next, we'll look at three different case studies. So the case studies, as I mentioned in the last video, will be the NAB show, one of the biggest shows in Las Vegas. And we're going to look at their live stream. We're going to look at Vid Summit, which is kind of like a small to medium size uh, video marketing event in Los Angeles, California. I helped them start their very first virtual ticket sales in 2017. So that'll be really good. Then we'll look at the Stream Geek Summit and the House of Worship Summit. The Stream Geek Summit is a very small, 250 person kind of unique boutique conference. And then the Worship Summit is an all digital virtual summit. So it'd be very interesting to look at those. Then from a high level, we're going to take a high level look at all the technology. So a high level of all the technology, all the pieces, how does it all fit together? How does your live streaming camera and your software connect to the website? How does it all come together? Your event ticketing, your processing, your payments, all of that. And how do you uh, do some ticket pricing as well? Then number five, we're going to look at event planning and management. So how do you plan your event for success? How do you plan that event out, you know, using all of the tools, the event planning tools to, you know, make sure that you're not disrupting your existing ticket sales and make sure that the virtual ticket sales fit in there nicely. Next, this is very important and a lot of folks don't understand this yet. And this is designing a virtual ticket experience because, you know, as an event planner, you guys know this, um, virtual ticket event experience. Um, you know that the, the, the value of the ticket that you sell is only as valuable as the experience that you deliver. And many, many event planners and folks are used to putting on a great event where you can appeal to the five senses of a person, their sight, their smell, their taste, their hearing, right? But with live streaming, we only have sight and sound, right? So you can, what they see and what they hear. So how do we design an experience that can uplift them and transform them and engage them and have them actively participate with your event? It's possible. That's what we're going to study. Next, we're going to talk about ticket, pr ticket pricing structure. So we're going to get your pricing right. There is an equilibrium price, meaning a perfect price for virtual tickets. But the difference between a regular ticket and a virtual ticket is quite different. Not only is it a different offering completely, but virtual tickets have an unlimited supply. So we'll look at what that means from an economics perspective. We'll try to find that equilibrium price so that you can maximize your profits. Next, we will look at preparing for your event. And preparing, you know, we do some pre-planning and some preparing for budgeting and for looking at what it's going to be like to, you know, host this event and make sure it's a massive success. Next, we'll look at building a team. 
and what is the team that you need to build to, you know, to get f far and, and, and accomplish your goals. Um, we'll create, and I'm just going to go through this now that I'm out of whiteboard space. We'll create an event scope. We will we'll talk about marketing your event. We will prepare your event for live streaming. We'll talk about the video production side of things. And I know most event planners will be hiring an event planner, but it's nice to know the thought process behind that. We'll talk about innovation in video conferencing, live streaming, and content delivery. And then finally, we'll talk about putting the fun back in fundraising. So that is the course overview. Uh, we'll get right into it, starting with an overview of the events industry in the next video. Let's get started, guys. Don't forget to download the digital copy of this book if you don't have it. It's very important that you read this book along with taking the online course. Let's get started.